What's up and welcome guys to One Oak Mentoring, the number one team virtual mentoring service and program of all times. But of course y'all already know that, right? Uh, it's kind of early, man. Um, I'm just now finishing up at the gym. Um, I'm normally in a good mood. Well, I am in a good mood, but today uh, something's been on my heart, man, um, since last night. Uh, something that's just been in my mind. <laughs> Um, that I really got to get this off my chest. So I just had to make a video about this. Um, yesterday when I was in this gym, when I was in the gym, this very restroom, right? Um, I came in, you know, to use the restroom. Uh, I looked at one toilet, you know, I normally go in the handicapped toilet, you know, space, you know, it's like wider, you know, I like to, you know, I like my space, you know? So I go in there and I look at the toilet seat and, um, Toilet seat's looking dirty, right? You know, I'm not gonna get too graphic, but the toilet seat was obviously dirty, right? So I'm like, okay, all right, I'll just go to the next stall, right? Now, the toilet seat I'm looking at, very dirty, right? I mean, just imagine, right? Hopefully y'all not eating right now or nothing, right? So I go in the stall right next to me, and then I hear the door open. Somebody comes in, I hear steps. I hear somebody come into this stall and just sit down and just start getting to the business, right? So I'm thinking like, obviously, like it's not, when you look at the toilet seat, it's not like, oh, I could have missed it. You know, you're looking at the toilet seat, it's obviously dirty, right? I didn't hear no kind of preparation for the toilet seat. I just, it's kind of just like, he just sat right on it, right? Uh, really disgusted me, um, kind of traumatized me, man. So, you know, I had to make sure I made some type of video for you guys. Um, this is called bathroom, public bathroom etiquette, right? Um, no matter how bad you got to go to the restroom, you know, or whatever, make sure you prepping those toilet seats, right? You really want to go into a, like a, a nice place where there's, um, you know, where it's already clean, right? Because if it's already dirty and you're trying to sit down and trying to prep it, it kind of defeats the purpose, right? But I'm going to be showing y'all bathroom etiquette, right? So when you go in the bathroom, well, I'll show you how to do it. Okay. Now y'all see that toilet seat? First, what you want to do, what I do is you want to use toilet paper. Yeah, they have these things right here. Whatever they call these things. Yeah, you might can use these, but I don't know, man. I really don't trust these things. So what I do is this, right? Start off with your toilet paper. I mean, not toilet paper, your paper towel, right? Something real thick, you know? That'll kind of keep the separation, right? Okay, so. You want to fold it, right? Horizontally, right? Lay it on the toilet. Well, that one kind of fell in, but y'all kind of get what I'm saying, right? So you're going to fold this all the way around, right? Now, I know some people might say, oh, man, that's too extensive. I don't got time for that, man. If you want to be a dirt ball, be my guest, right? But over here, one note, you know, we talk about respecting ourselves, and you can't be respecting yourself if you're sitting on a dirty, dirty toilet seat, right? Now, if it's a dirty toilet seat, obviously dirty like I was telling you about, you probably don't want to put paper down. Just skip it all together, right? You don't want to be cleaning the toilet, you know what I mean? cleaning other people's crap all right. I mean, unless you're into like a cleaning profession or something like that, but. You know, make sure you get well protected, man. Y'all protect yourselves out here, man. I was disgusted when that person just came in there and sat down. Then I seen them around the gym the whole day, man. I was disturbed, you know? But make sure y'all got y'all paper towel down, right? Okay. So then what you want to do, right? You want to go back over it with some toilet paper. It just adds a little bit of comfort. You know, toilet paper soft, this paper towel kind of hard. So, you know, just a little bit of comfort, you know. I mean, if you fancy like that. If you if you a gangster, just sit right on it. You know what I mean? Hey, whatever floats your boat, right? So then you want to get your toilet paper. Now, some of y'all probably like, man, you killing by a whole forest of trees doing this, man. Hey, by any means necessary, right? OK. 
okay? Voila, right? See how that is? Now, um, when you're done using the restroom, here's another piece of advice I want to give you guys, right? You see how that paper towel and stuff? Really, you're not supposed to flush paper towel, right? I mean, I don't know if a lot of y'all know that, man. You're not supposed to flush paper towel, especially that much, right? That's a lot of paper, right? So when you get finished um, using the restroom, if you can still use the paper towel or, well, the paper towel or the tissue, use it, you know, for the environment, right? But if you can't, don't try to flush all that stuff at once, man. Just grab it and throw it in the trash can, right? All right? Pretty simple, pretty easy video. Um, it's just something that just been on my heart, man. Um, maybe a lot of y'all don't know etiquette about that. Some of y'all probably just grew up in households that nobody tells y'all, you know, hey, man, you know, don't be sitting on dirty toilet seats, right? You know, and some of y'all might feel like, oh, man, it's just a toilet seat. You know, I'll take a shower. But uh, if y'all don't know anything, there's like stuff you can catch from dirty toilet uh, seats, like staph infections. Uh, man, it's another word. Um, I don't know, man, I'm not a health professional, but yeah, like staph infections, uh, you know, staph infections that you can get like uh, all kind of blisters and like warts on your butt, man. You know, you don't want to be walking around with like blisters on your butt, man. You can't sit down, warts, you know. So man, y'all make sure you keeping your nose clean and keeping your butt clean, man, all right? So no dirty toilet seats, man. I don't care if your stomach's been bubbling and it's warm and you got to run somewhere and you got to use the restroom a little bit. We've all been there, man. You got to prep the toilet seat okay All right prep the toilet seat please and another thing i want to talk about is when you're in the public restroom don't just pee all over the seat pee on the floor you know and things like that i know if you go into a dirty restroom you really like oh it don't matter i just pee anywhere you know pee all over the floor it don't matter it's already dirty right but y'all guys don't do things like that if it's a clean restroom you know make sure you're holding the toilet seat up i know a lot of ladies love to hear that you know hey raise the toilet seat up especially if you're at that their house but if you're in the public, man, raise the toilet seat up. Or if not, if you make a little mess, man, just wipe the toilet seat off because somebody's got to come behind you. Um, and I hope you guys ain't just sitting on wet um, toilet seats, man. That's even more disturbing to me, man. Cause a little trauma to me. So, um, yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all guys are respecting yourselves, man, right? Don't pee all over the toilet seat, man. You know, especially in public, right? Because somebody's got to come behind you. Just like the person that was there before you, they peed out on the toilet seat, you gotta use the restroom, and then you're trying to like clean it all up. Now, if you're really gotta use the restroom, and there's nowhere for you to go, and there's pee on the seat, man, you need to get a lot of toilet, not a lot of toilet, but a lot of paper towel, wipe it down, right? You know, don't let your hand like, have a lot of distance from your hand and the pee. So have a lot of paper towel, wipe it down, you know, and then prep the toilet seat like I told you. This is very vital information, man, that most of you can only get from the one oak himself, right? You know, I mean, look at my shirt, right? Self-explanatory. So uh, I want y'all guys respecting yourself, man, um, showing some class. Don't be sitting on no dirty toilet seats, man. Uh, I'm still very disturbed. Each time I see that guy in the gym, man, that's all I think about, like, you're really a dirty dude, man. Like, you know, and that's no disrespect to anybody. You know, I try to stay positive, but um, I just think this is a video that a lot of you guys can benefit from and uh yeah man so um y'all just keep those that in mind uh make sure you keep your hands washed especially when you're dealing with these toilet seats man keep your hands washed right take care of yourselves and um yeah that's pretty much it man so just remember what i said about the toilet seats right okay don't sit on dirty toilet seats don't bear back well don't bear sit on any um of these like toilet seats you know what i mean don't just sit your bare behind on the toilet seat right i don't even care if it's clean i mean if it looks clean unless you're in your own home or something like that then okay yeah but even me even if i'm at somebody's house it don't even gotta be like a public restroom i'm still going i probably won't prep it with the toilet um with the paper towel and stuff but i'm still gonna do that man because even if you're at somebody's house man you don't know what their washing regimen is man you don't know if their hygiene is up to par right you know some people like some people don't even wash man so when they sit on the toilet seat they get up man it's just a whole lot of dead skin like around it man and dirt you know what i mean Ugh. so um y'all guys take care of yourself man keep yourself clean keep your butts clean um Y'all take care, man. This is 1-0 signing out.